10 reasons you're not with your twin flame right now. Maybe you're uh, doing some of these. Maybe you're doing all of these. Yikes. In any case, wherever you are, you can make a new choice to do things differently from now on. We're just going to kick this some bitch off. Number 10. You're not choosing to be with them. You think that by listening or reading to what everyone else has to say about Twin Flames and thinking positively, that will get you there. First step is choosing your union, choosing to be with your Twin Flame. It really cannot be understated how powerful your choices are. And to take that one step deeper, this is not like just a, you know, it's not only a consciously like choosing to be with your twin flame, but identifying all the ways you are subconsciously choosing not to be with your twin flame. That is what the inner work is. Going within your consciousness to find the places you are choosing separation. That is where real change takes place. That is where real healing takes place. Going within yourself to identify where you're not choosing love and making a new choice to choose love there instead. Number nine, you think that by blaming your twin flame and or feeling sorry for yourself, it will make you feel better. And feeling better will bring your twin flame into your life. The problem is that blaming and pointing the finger at them is not healing to you or to your union. Turning your upsets inward and healing them is how you will find peace from this journey. And that same peace will lead you to your twin flame. Anything that feels or sounds fearful is not of your creator. Anything that feels peaceful is of your creator. Follow that peaceful feeling because that is the way. Number eight, you start and stop and start and stop and start and stop your journey continuously on a loop. You make the choice to be with your twin flame and you start to work through some stuff and then, oh, no way. This is too hard. So you give up and say, you know, I'll settle for something else. And, you know, that doesn't work out. So you come back to the Twin Flame. Each time, you know, you realize that it's not possible to give up that desire. That desire doesn't go away. And it's just a continuous cycle of starting and stopping and saying this doesn't work. And trying to discourage others from, you know, having their Twin Flame. All because, you know, people are choosing to quit. Choosing to quit, then not unquit, and quit and unquit. It's not helping you at all. It's not doing you any good. And you're not making any traction. And you're not moving forward by approaching your journey this way at all. It is definitely, um, you're going back to square one all over again, just in a circle. Something to uh, notice if that's a pattern of yours. Number seven, you need to be right. Your need to be right is totally dominating your desire to love and to receive love. You insist you know how to do it when the universe is showing you another way. You're trying very hard to prove that 
this is how the twin flame journey works or this is you know this is what has to happen this is what i have to do or this person uh, that you believe to be your twin flame is an unchangeable narcissistic demon spawn if that's how you choose to perceive your situation then you will convince yourself you're right however you know that will not bring you peace peace is the measuring tool does this bring you peace, deep peace? Right? If you're listening to people and you, the feeling of what they're saying is, you know, bringing fear or bringing, uh, you know, bad feelings, that is not deep peace. You know, that's if if it, if the feeling is deep peace, then keep going. If no, if you're feeling anything other other than deep peace, then you're going down the wrong path. Or what you're, what some, what the information you have is, isn't correct. You know, maybe this person is your twin, maybe they aren't. However, what is this experience meant to teach you? You cannot learn anything if you already think you know everything. Open yourself to another point of view. What can you learn from this experience? How can you use this experience to attain peace for yourself? Right? Only love is real. Anything else is total illusion. Number six. You're not claiming your twin flame or your union. You feel like your twin flame is not yours and you don't feel like your union is for you. Uh, your twin flame is yours, and your unit, union is for you. you. Claim that in your heart. That is the truth of how twin flames were created. They're yours, no one else's. If they're with someone else, uh, so what? You know, that person has their own twin flame and that person is perfect for their twin flame their own twin flame just as you are perfect for your twin flame they are already with you in truth you are already together so you can never be separate so just claim them you know whatever outside circumstances are going on you know that, that that makes no difference on uh, your twin flame union number five your effort and energy is focused elf everywhere and anywhere but union with your twin flame you're distracting yourself from feeling your feelings and working through your problems you're ignoring and numbing out feelings that are the exact pathway to your union. Your feelings are the breadcrumb trail to your twin flame union. Not confronting or exploring your feelings by making yourself busy or constantly redirecting yourself to something else is avoiding your pathway. Does it feel good to explore bad feelings? Not really. Does it feel amazing to work through them? Absolutely. So for that brief instance that you have to confront something that doesn't feel so good, um, on the other side of that is a uh, really amazing, peaceful, loving feeling that you get to keep. Bad feelings can, you know, can't hurt you. Like, maybe it feels bad, but once you work through them, uh, you're freed from the control that, they ha that they're having over you. Four. Number four. 
you think that someone else can do this for you. Uh, this is your journey. You must walk your own path. Having a coach to guide you along is beyond helpful and you know can guide you along very very rapidly however no coach can do it for you you must take guided steps and actions and do the inner work like a coach can help you tremendously identifying blocks and leading you through the steps of your journey but you play the most critical part most critical role it's you developing and cultivating your relationship with your creator that leads you to your twin flame. A coach can take you there, but you must be, be the one to actually do it. You're not, your job isn't to just like sit back and, and expect you know, things to be done for you. This is, this is your journey. This is your responsibility. Number three, you're just waiting. You think it's your twin flame's job or your creator's job to do all the work. You think any bad feeling that comes up must be your twin flames because I don't ever feel bad. Oh, bad feeling? No, thank you. That's someone else's must be you think that any bad feeling that comes up must be your twin flames and they need to take care of it you're not at all taking responsibility for how you feel your feelings are yours if you feel something then it's coming from within you feelings don't come from outside of you uh, or maybe you're just waiting for your creator to do it for you. You know? Oh, divine timing. The divine timing doesn't mean you sit on a lounge chair doing nothing and your desires magically fall out of the sky. That's just being lazy. You know, take your power into your own hands. You co-create with your creator by making choices and working through your challenges and learning through the lessons that are being presented to you. You have to follow your guidance, whether that be an action or, you know, an action step or a passive step to take. That's what's leading you to your union. There's like no, there's no way around that. There's, there's nothing, uh, there's no cheat code to this journey. You must work through whatever you feel as it comes up. That is the fast way. Number two, you think you are calling the shots. You think it's your job to tell your creator how this journey is supposed to go. You think you know best. Um, you know, that you know, since what you want to happen isn't happening instantly or in the way that you see fit that your creator is an imbecile and you have to take control but having expectations will frustrate the hell out of you every single time it's not up to you when this or that happens it's not up to you when it's over or when you should have your prize you did not create your journey. Your creator did. So it's best you surrender to the pathway before you and strap in. Your creator is an immovable object. Why continue to push against that? Do you not get it? It's a process. Surrender and go with the flow of your journey, you'll get there fast. And number one, you think there is some special way around doing the inner work. Some, some people spend 
all of their lives trying to con or manipulate or cheat their way around doing the inner work to get to what they want. They think they have to game their twin flame into being with them instead of just loving them unconditionally. There's no way to cheat your way into your twin flame union. You must choose union over and over again, every step of the way. Every time any fear, upset, wounding, trauma comes up, you're choosing your twin flame. You're choosing your union every single time. This means choosing to work through whatever is coming up, whatever it is. could be anything. You're choosing to work through it, and you're choosing to heal your way through it. That's what it means to choose your twin flame every step of the way. Choose your union every step of the way. And this journey is about you. And focusing on you. And healing you. And learning about you. And working with me will really help you understand things from a divine masculine pr perspective. So you can approach this journey you know, from a different point of view. Uh, so go down to the description box and click on the links below or go to asbornguidance.com and allow me to help you. Take care.